The data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs etc. These are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and bytes. To connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections. We will see what all the ports to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a parting device available for connection such as input and output. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU ports and connections. Computer any uses. These connect web speakers, peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer specialized on a piece of equipment to wig or a cable. Again, in this port, divided into two groups the serial port. One time single wire camel port stipple baits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer type, transfer rate, and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the and sends to the output. The most common input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the Computer, they cannot access reproduce information from coming to microphones sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at and sends those images computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices. Output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually we will see that from the, on the display projection. It is physical re example monitor printer. These are the two most common output devices. With a computer. every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, sound card, and which are all output devices. These are all our output. A printer is also very commonly used with computers. 
depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane com computer output microfilm headphone visual display unit recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse devices printer plotter display etc and in the memory we have discussed memory and secondary memory sem as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information about the block diagram of a What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and processes information to the output devices as a result. The computer. An electronic machine which understands language that is Z represents bit. These are binary digits. That is bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital it holds that is bits either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte or represented from 0 to 1 that is bit right side that is the significant bit zeros and here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is 8 bits a word is of 8 bits bits in a word or numbers 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and by is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits Two bytes. Now coming to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. These give input to the processing 
unit that is CPU which executes that is which assigns and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices. In between this CPU consists of main memory as well storage peripherals. This CPU that is it consists of this is a sensing unit which consists a control unit, arithmetic logic unit and a memory. This is CPU is a computer. This is component that actually instructions or program tells the computer what to do. And then does its work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit. The data input data as an output. Here it consists a highly complex set of electronic circuitry that executes stored instructions. And here it this central processing unit performs steps for each instruction. First step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory. And the second step is this decodes that instruction and the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are called as in first step and second step or together called instruction time. Now coming to the third step. Arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, multiplication, go on like that. Logical and or not operations. That is, the ALU is given control and performs the actual on the data. This result of this operation and fourth step as execute. Now, memory. And memory, we have two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and in for storing and retrieval. Same just like our human brain. It is storage space. Same as for computer. Like a physical device which is capable of storing or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily memory storage is nothing but why we call it as memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or low in case of power failure in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device 
that means you cannot lose the data primary is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit store the data in memory computer access that is we can access the information very fast see memory which is used to frequently and programs programs directly access processing unit for for even on a computer first look to the ram that is random access memory is it faster to access this refers to an memory central storage devices so secondary it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in second secondary memory but it transfer into the main memory and then it transfers to the processing unit from that we can data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tape cds these etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all this for us we need now ports and, and connections we'll see what roll the port port refers to a Our peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer. other computer peripheral devices in computer port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as in output devices these are all the input devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a port is 
specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer port sends and receives at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port send multiple bits at the, the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected the typical require shaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins or easier to replace on a cable then on a connector attached to the computer so it was common to you for the fixed size of the face if that side is is fixed then we are but connect rather than ports now coming to input devices input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot accept or reproduce information on the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an 
input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about, about in device coming to device output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that on the, on the display projection or, or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common used with the computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these role are all output devices a printer is also very very computers depending on the type of computer and, and how, how, how the computer used other output devices may be used with a computer for example projector lcd projection plane com compute microfilm speakers headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer it is which accepts and processes it and sends that process information devices this is the a computer is an electronic machine which understands 
machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit binary digits that is bit is abbreviated binary digit it is defined as a unit of data on a binary computer or it holds bits holds either zero or one now we'll see byte byte is defined group of eight bits is called a byte bits in a byte or from zero to bit on the right side that is the least bit zeros and he Eight bits. That is starting from zero to seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So left side is the significant bit, and the offset how it represents is two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three. So on. Two power seven. The as well two power seven is one twenty eight. This is what about eight bit one byte. It is said to be one byte. A word is a group of sixteen bits. Same as here, one byte is a eight bits. A word is a group of eight bits. Bits in a word or number starting from again zero to Fifteen, because it is a group of sixteen bits. So this is bit, individual bit, and byte is set of eight bits. And a word is sixteen bits, which is two bytes. Now coming to the block diagram of a computer. This is of input devices. These gives to the processing unit that is executes, which understands and processes that, and and gives as an output from the output devices. In between. The CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This is the CPU. That is, it of this is a central processing unit with a control unit, arithmetic logic, and a memory. This is CPU is a heart of. This is the component that executes the instructions. Organized in a program tells the computer what to do, and this computer does primary work in a part of the machine, the central processing unit. Here, the data converts input data from 